What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we are going to unbox one out of three of these pallets. We got a few pallets today, and we're going to see if we can make some profits out of these items. I don't know how I want to do this because I'm going to have to get all of that stuff into that car so I can take it all back to Michigan so I can get this stuff listed. So the plan is to break everything down here before I go back. So we just pulled up to the house. Let's go ahead and break down the first pallet right now and just see what's inside. We're not going to go through every single item by detail because again, that is a big box and this may be like one or two videos. We don't even know how we're going to do it yet, but we're just going to go ahead and attack this pallet and break it down because we have a lot of work to do. Let's go. It is getting hot, so take my stuff off. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just attack everything. I'm going to take all the big box stuff out and then go from there. And hopefully we can run across some items that's worth some money. I got my phone. We will take some comps of some of these items that we pull out. Some we won't. But yeah, let's, let's see what we got. Looks like we have a Rawlings jacket in here. I'm not going to take it out. Look, that we have some sensors of some sort. I don't see a brand on them or anything like that, so I'm just gonna put them to the side. Yeah, yeah, sofa cover. This is the wax treatment equipment. This is a Home Geek blender. Should get maybe like around 30, 40 bucks for it. Got some t-shirts, hey. baby clothes tablecloth oh we have this big ring light vivitar ring light it has a barcode on it let's see what it's worth it's worth 43 dollars new on amazon 43 bucks on amazon and eBay has consistent sales comps of anywhere between 33 and 51 bucks. Here goes a pet door. Here goes some Gerber sandals. It has a barcode on it. Barcode, can't find a price. Go some plastic cups, yay. Could use those at my convention. It sounds like a bunch of metal. I don't feel like opening it. Oh, we have a thermal label printer. Not too bad. I think I can get like around 80 to 90 bucks for this brand. So I see somebody trying to sell this one for 85 bucks. When I look at soul comps, I can see one sold for 51 bucks. So we're gonna say around 50 bucks or so for this item. We're about, a, what, $100 or so? Got kid walkie talkies. Go some shoes. Yeah, these shoes aren't worth nothing. Oh, this is a waterproof, a waterproof mat that can go for the baby. Oh man, I think this is a big tarp that we're not going to open. We have in this box. Let's check it out. So what was in that box is an ice maker. And now we just have to worry about does it work is the question. So if it works, I can probably sell it for like around 50 bucks or so. I mean, I see comps anywhere between 40 and 80. It's used, so maybe 50 bucks. Uh, we're gonna have to see if it works. It says this is a white planter, and so this is probably something to grow plants in. Not about to open it. I may get like 20 bucks for this air purifier. They really don't sell that great on Amazon or eBay for me. Um, I may check and see if I can sell it on Amazon. Actually, let's do that. So I see somebody trying to sell one for 110 bucks. We shall see. My guess is I might get 50 for it if that if it's worth that. So you know, we'll say we'll just say 50 bucks. Right here we have this calm do bread maker anytime you see it open like that might not be a good thing if it's working i should get at least 50 bucks for it i see some selling for like 200 some selling for 50 but this one looks like it's probably gonna sell for like around that 50 dollar range here goes another one of those things that's making a lot of noise that i don't feel like opening it says it's a trailer case label so whatever that is i don't know it's like a spider-man outfit that's a couple bucks. 
Lego, Star Wars. That got to be worth something, right? People are trying to sell this for like a hundred and something dollars. On Amazon, it's going for like $59. So that's probably the prices that it's really going for. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Another $50 item. 50 seems to be the trend if you haven't noticed. Potty training seat for a baby. We will definitely be keeping this for Brenda. This is a robot vacuum cleaner, the NC3. This one's selling for like around 90 bucks. So not too bad, not too bad. Here goes a blanket or here goes a curtain, yay. <clears throat> Premium accessories bathroom set, you know, has a little thing for your toilet brush. Things so you can put your little napkins in. Things so you can put your little lotions in or hand wash or whatever you want to put in here. Probably get around, what, five, seven, eight bucks on this. I don't know what this is. It doesn't have a label or anything over on it and I don't feel like opening it really. So I'm just gonna like put it to the side and if it's something good, I'll tell you about it later on. Water hose. Yay. Oh man. And then we're gonna have this digit now, this digit now Bluetooth record converter. You can see right here, it's supposed to play records or convert records or whatever. It does something with records. But I see one like this just sold for 70 bucks. So another $50 item. I feel like we've been saying that's a few 50 so far. So not, not too bad. Uh, another little candy machine, a little dinosaur claw. So you can like claw and grab little candies. This is only worth like around 20 bucks or so. So not bad. Ooh, a money counter. These things are usually worth a little bit of money. Selling for like around 93 bucks. Yeah, selling for like around 85. So yeah, not 90 bucks on this item, not bad. It's almost time for me to stand in the box. Some kind of dish, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Surge protector. Toilet brush. Oh, this Vector wireless security camera. I've sold one of these before. I want to say I sold it for 40 bucks. So that's a good, good find. Here goes a pair of women's shoes. Don't, not even going to open them to be honest. <laughs> Don't judge. Yeah, they could be worth something. Could probably not. But hey, we shall see. Nile W Blue. Does, it, does that W, I thought that W stood for like Weight Watchers. I'm not going to lie. That's what I thought that W was for, the Weight Watchers. Figurine that almost fell out the box. I don't even know what that is. Oh, a pillow. That pillow feel real soft. It's probably like one of them $40, $50 pillows. I have no idea what that is. A bookshelf. This will come in handy. Here goes some more of those suede X shoes. Don't think they're worth nothing. A helmet, bunch of stuff, Crocs, whatever. Little Mickey Mouse shoes worth $16. <laughs> Has a barcode on it. What is it? Wish it was a cell phone. It's a Land Air C. Oh, it's a GPS tracker for your phone. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this is a GPS tracker for your phone. And it's selling for like $35 consistently. 35, 37, 51, 40, 33, 58, 36. So yeah, nice find, I like that. I might need to keep it because I'll be losing everything. I mean, there's a bunch of clothes and shoes and stuff in here. I'm not even gonna show you guys. Neolite flameless LED candles. You get about five, ten dollars for that. But this feels like an empty box, but it's not. I think it's just a rack you can probably put something on. 12 pack chef bracket. Has a barcode on it. Love items with barcodes. Unless they don't scan. And it didn't. Shelf brackets, probably not worth nothing. I can't find them. I say I can't find them, but I really didn't look. I just scanned the barcode. <laughs> Serving tray. Baby changer, maybe. Baby bath thing. I don't know what this is. It goes a bag. It's a bag with a bag in it. Oh, jump. This is one of those. Okay, so 
you watch my videos, you know recently I went to a yard sale and they had a baby carrier and I was raving over that baby carrier and it's worth like 75 bucks. This is what this one is. This is a brand new baby carrier. That's dope. That's really, really, really dope. And I like this green better than the red that I got. So I'm probably gonna keep this one and then resell the one that I got. So the one that I have, I can probably resell it for like 40 bucks. If I wanted to sell this for brand new, I could probably sell this for like around a good 70 bucks easy, easy, nice. PS5 cooling stand. I wish it was a PS5. Dock all wireless charging hub. This sound like it's at least $40, right? Sound like $40 to me. Say a 40, I see comps for 79, 65. Let's go to the solds, cause I see a hundred one. I see a hundred dollar one too. So let's go to the sold comps so we don't get messed up and confused. And there are no sold comps. So that sucks. On Amazon, they're selling for $79 and they have a great sales rank. So I'm gonna see if I can get approved in it real quick. And if I can get approved in it, I can tell you that I'm gonna make profit on it, guaranteed. Cause it has a good rank in it. I requested approval. It's asking me for invoices and documents so I can't get approved in this automatically. But since it's selling for 70 bucks on Amazon, I can probably still get like 40 bucks for it on eBay. Everybody's trying to sell theirs for way higher than Amazon prices on eBay. So if I come in at a nice price, it should get sold. So I'm gonna stick with that $40 profit margin. Mila Kate purse, never heard of it before. Automatic curler. This one looks like a cheap brand, so I might can get like around 20 bucks for it. Oh, this is a scale, so that'll come in handy. You can always use an extra scale. It goes a Dream Builder. I had one before and I've actually sold one for like around $33.33. Don't know if this is the same one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say $25 profit or so, somewhere around there. If not, then eh, it is what it is, but I'm gonna guess 25 bucks. It's exhausting going through this palette. I'm letting you know that right now. And this video is probably super long, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and end the video there and we're gonna just do part two now. We're gonna go through the rest of the items for part two of the video. So yeah, come along and see part two of the video as we go through all of this stuff.